garbage truck please move it along healthy and glowing baby ignore my hands you guys self tanner it always gets me now i have foundation right in my crotch hey guys it's me sylvia back with another video welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel dance party dance party and stop anyways those of you that really despise my intro i'm sorry i'm gonna continue doing it because it really gets me hyped up for the video welcome back to my channel you know today we're gonna be doing the full face of makeup trying out all wet and wild products wet and wild is a very affordable brand every brand obviously has hits and misses and then also you guys can see my opinion on the brand so that's what this series is about i've been doing it for a really long time but i haven't done it in a while so we're bringing it back with wet and wild today but before we get started make sure you are subscribed to my channel before before you watch another second of this video because I drop two videos a week you don't want to miss out on that and join my S club because the S club is the best club on YouTube honey mm -hmm, it is take my word for it without further ado let's get into the video so we have a full box of goodies to try out today I really went ham on the website and it didn't even cost me that much because it's so affordable and then I also have all wet and wild brushes to try out look how gorgeous these are these actually cost a pretty penny you guys for wet and wild this was like the most expensive thing on the site by far. Everything is like under $10, except for this brush set was like $70. I was very, very confused. You can buy them individually though. I think they go between six and $8 a brush, or you can buy them as a set, which is what I did. But we're gonna start out with their Dewy Face Primer. It says this one's new. I've never tried it before. Most of these products I actually haven't tried before. So I'm glad I'm finally giving Wet n Wild a fair shot. I'm actually gonna use my hands to rub that in. I usually use my hands for my primer. It smells interesting. And it's not completely clear. It looks like it has that little bit of a beige tint to it. I did use way too much. Not sure why I went so ham. <laughs> oh yeah, so right away you can see my skin looks so luminous. It's almost like I put highlighter, like liquid highlighter all over my face. I'm feeling a dewy base lately because my skin's been more dry because of the acne products I'm using. It does have a little bit of a sticky feeling, which is great for a primer. So moving on to foundation. I have two of their foundations because I was confused. I didn't know which one to try. I know this is like their own OG one, it is the Photo Focus Foundation, but this is their newer one, which is their Cushion Foundation. I think I'm gonna save the Cushion one for a later video, and I'm gonna use this Photo Focus one today, just cause I wanna test out their kind of staple known products. So this is the Photo Focus Foundation. I'm using the shade Desert Beige. Can you guys believe I've never tried this foundation before? This is like a pivotal moment in my makeup career right now. This is an interesting applicator. I'm not too sure that I'm feeling it. I feel like it's about to drip off at any second. It's like a paddle. I actually have never, oh! I knew it. I knew it! So not a fan of the applicator right off the bat. But I mean, if the foundation's good, I can deal with it. So I am gonna blend that out with a beauty sponge just because I always like applying foundation with a beauty blender. So it seems to be giving a pretty sheer to medium coverage, I'm noticing. The main claim for this foundation is that it's supposed to keep you photo ready and give you a really flawless faux filter kind of look. So I'm gonna apply a little more because it's pretty sheer right now. Let's see if it's buildable. But it says it's supposed to give you a your skin but better type of coverage so I'm assuming it's not meant to be super full coverage so it says it's supposed to be a matte finish foundation but it's obviously not matte it is drying down a little bit right now but I think because I use that dewy primer we're getting more of the dewy look you know so we can't really judge that part of the foundation yet so far I am really liking it though because it's such a natural looking finish I was having a hard time building it though to cover up problem areas so you might do better to just use some concealer on any problem spots but overall I really like the way it's making my my skin look. So for brows, I have their retractable brow pencil in ash brown. So it's got two ends to it, the spoolie brush on the end, which I like, and it's got a thicker tip here. This type of brow pencil reminds me of the Anastasia brow definer. So it's not like a super precise tip. It's a little bit thicker, very creamy. The product is going on really easily. I prefer a more precise tip because I like to get in between my thick brow hairs there. And with this, it's kind of just like easy to draw on the whole thing. It just depends on what your preference is. We're creating a nice, braille so this brow is filled in i'll just use the spoolie brush to brush it out the product is blending out beautifully they have four shades of this though i didn't see one for redheads i think they're missing a couple shades so brows are completely on they look really great i think it's definitely worth the four dollars like that is so affordable but i would just be worried about the longevity of it i feel like if i just rub my eye brow accidentally it would probably wipe off because the 
product is so creamy. But for $4, I feel like that's something you can just deal with because they look really good. So let's move on to eyeshadow. I did forget to get an eyeshadow primer from them. So you guys let me know how you like that because I have never tried it before and I'm curious. I'm gonna just use some of their concealer as a base to my eyelid. This is the Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Medium. So now I'm just setting that with their Photo Focus Pressed Powder in Natural Beige. Just so then our shadows don't crease and we have a nice base going. I'm gonna dab a little bit of that just right here because I'm getting too shiny there. So for eyeshadow, I have their Color Icon Nude Awakening Palette. It's got a mix of mattes and shimmers. It looks really, really pretty. So I even noticed on the back here, it has a really helpful diagram if you are new to using shadows. And it basically tells you what shade goes where on your eyelid. So that is helpful for beginners. So I am gonna go in with this like bone shade right here on the brow bone, just like they suggest. So not too much pigment right off the bat. I am kind of having to build it. Just noticed that right away, but I do like the shade for a brow bone highlight. And now I'm gonna use the lighter brown transition shade just above the crease, kind of right below the brow bone where we put that color there. It's blending really easily into that brow bone color. You guys know I like the best of both worlds. I use luxury products, I use affordable products. I mean, it really just depends on the quality of it. And I wanna make sure that I'm not always just using luxury products because I know obviously not everybody can afford them. And I think it's important to just be open to using every type of product. I'm gonna switch over to the P20 brush. It's a little bit of a bigger fluffy blending brush just because the other one was a little too dense for this transition shade. I want it to be super blended out. Now I'm gonna take the burgundy color right here for a crease shade using the P15 brush, which is the more dense blending brush. So first I'm gonna pack that on and then kind of blend it out into the crease color. I'm gonna use this on the inner corner too. We're gonna do a halo eye today. Now switching between those brushes to just make sure that there's a nice gradient between those two shadows. I'm gonna connect the two just at the crease here with whatever's left over on my brush to make sure it's very soft. So far, I'm loving the shadows. This color is absolutely beautiful and you see they're blending into each other really nicely. The buffing, fluffy blending brushes are also really great. Now we're gonna take the concealer and we're gonna clean up the center a little bit, create that blank slate so it can really pop. And I'm also gonna clean up that shadow a little bit with the concealer. So now let's use one of the shimmery shades just to see how they apply. I'm liking the mattes. I noticed that you just have to give it a couple layers before you actually get that intense color payoff. The shimmer is going on beautifully too. I also grabbed a bunch of their liquid shadows just because I'm obsessed with liquid shadows right now. So I have the shade Shells and Whistles. I'm just gonna pop that on right in the center there just to test it out. Ooh, ooh that's so pretty. It really is. Is like liquid metal. So let's try and blend those edges as much as we can. Okay, so that really just intensified that center color so much more. I'm obsessed with their liquid eyeshadows. That's dope. And they come in so many different shades. So that's awesome. And I approve this palette. So what wild you did that with these eye products. So now let's move on to concealer. This is their Photo Focus Concealer. Putting that on the under eye. I'll also put that just down the center of my nose, chin, Cupid's bow. Let's blend that out with a beauty blender. I would say that's a medium to full coverage with a natural finish. It did a decent job covering up my under eye discoloration. You can see it didn't do it completely. That's why it's more like on the medium sheer side. Really drying concealers sometimes can age you because of all of the skin folds and like wrinkles everyone has under their eyes, let's be real. But this is more of a natural finish, so I feel like this won't do that. Let's put a little more right at the inner corner there and try and build the coverage a little bit because that's where I have the most discoloration. So before we set the concealer with a powder, let's go in with some liquid highlighter from them. It's the Hello Halo Liquid liquid highlighter in the shade Halo Gorgeous. Whoa, that's a huge wand. That reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, let's apply that. That is really pink. Let's just use my Beauty Blender to blend that out. Wow, that's gorgeous. Let's apply a little bit up here and bring it down all around town. For a liquid highlighter, I was expecting to be way more intense, but it's like, Perfect, you know? It's still giving you that beautiful glow, but it's not intense enough that it's like impossible to blend away, you know? So now let's set the concealer using their pressed powder. I'm gonna use their P65 brush to just set that. I'm gonna also set the areas of my face where I get oily with this. It's more of like a sheer kind of coverage setting powder. It didn't really make it look 
cakey or anything like that, so I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It just seems pretty average to me. So now let's finish up that under eye. I'm gonna just bring that burgundy kind of purple color right down to my lower lash line with their pencil brush. All their brushes are so soft. Worth $70 though, not sure. So just bringing that right to the middle of my eye because I wanna keep them more almond shaped. While we're here, let's line the lash line with the black shade. Just pushing that up right to the lash line, tight lining it. This is gonna make the lashes look thicker. I'm also gonna do that at the top of my lashes. Even the black is like super intense and pigmented. So that's how you know the mattes are really good. So now let's apply some mascara using their Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. And this is actually waterproof. I'm just gonna use this on my lower lash line since I have lash extensions, but it seems like it's the perfect type of wand for your lower lashes. And the fact that it's waterproof is gonna prevent any smudging or transferring, which I really like. I hate when my mascara smudges on my concealer. I actually have a whole video on how to avoid your eye makeup from smudging. So if you have those issues, just click the card right up here to watch that video. So definitely the smaller wand is a lot easier to do your lower lashes with without making a mess. I'll update the description on the whole waterproof aspect of it, but I like it. So now I'm gonna use their Color Icon Bronzer. Let's try this out using their P70 brush. I feel like it's very hard for me to tell if I like it just cause it's not my right shade right now. And it's just adding highlight. Like it's really just making my cheek ashy and shiny. So I think this is the only product that I can't continue to use just cause it's really not working out for me. So I'm just gonna use the Physician formula bronzer for now just to complete the look but I do really like this brush all the brushes I can't really complain about okay so that bronzer I need to try a darker shade before I fully have my opinion on it but for right now I'm not feeling it I had to go in with it something else let's use their blush next this is in the shade apricot in the middle and this actually comes with a little brush in it but I never have liked using these type of brushes for blush I just find they're too small so let's use a really big brush we'll use their p60 brush for that and I'm just gonna apply that on the apples of my cheeks and blend up. Yeah, I'm not liking that. I normally don't even mind a little bit of shimmer in my blushes and bronzers, but when there is this much shimmer in it, it looks like it's meant to be a highlight and then you're just highlighting areas of your face that wouldn't naturally be highlighted and it doesn't look very natural at all. So I am not liking, I don't know if it's just the shades that I chose between the bronzer and the blush, but I don't really like them. I have another highlight product we're gonna use from them. This is a powder highlight in the shade Blossom Glow. They do have what looks to be a really nice highlight brush. It's the P75 brush so let's use that this looks so beautiful just that imprint is gorgeous so let's just add some more shimmer to our cheeks this is everything it's everything are you guys seeing that that's so pretty holy crap i can't get over it i can't get over it so i'm gonna try and clean up the mascara that's transferred but i really believe that it's the finishing powder that we use on our under eye didn't really set the concealer enough because if you set your concealer really well that shouldn't be happening okay so before we go in with the lip product let's set the face using their natural finish setting spray Oh, the spritz is nice. I'm just gonna push it all in with my beauty sponge. I feel like you won't be able to tell if it actually locks it in for a long time until you wear it a bunch. So I'll update the description on that. So last step is lips. We'll use their Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick. This is the shade Rebel Rose. So it's got kind of like a scooped in doe foot applicator. Let's apply. This is a beautiful dusty rose shade. It's supposed to apply glossy and then dry to matte finish. The curved applicator is not bad when you're just going like this because it kind of hugs your lip, but if you're trying to create a really straight line, if you're not using a lip liner, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So the lip is totally on. I really like the color. It is very pigmented when you're applying it. It's completely dried down to a matte. I don't know that I'm liking how it's feeling on my lips though. It feels a little bit chalky on my lips, like a little bit too drying. So I don't know about that. I'd have to see how long wearing it is to really make my final decision. So this completes the look. Overall, I'm very, very impressed. For the price point, Wet n Wild, the majority of the products are bomb. But obviously there are some misses, like I wasn't feeling the bronzer and the blush. It just had too much shimmer in it. This highlight is one of the best highlights I think I've ever used. The eyeshadow palette for a drugstore affordable product, it is really, really good. The fact I could create a halo eye and use all those different colors and it actually show is saying something. So I do really like the eyeshadow palette. The liquid eyeshadows are so good. As far as the foundation and concealer, I'm really feeling my complexion right now. Like I think my 
skin looks really good with that foundation. It's supposed to be matte, but I think the primer that we put on underneath did give us more of a dewy look, which I'm really liking. My skin looks very healthy, it looks flawless, and it does look photo ready. Let me know down below what you guys think of Wet n Wild. What is your favorite product from them? If you have one, comment it down below so I can try it out. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel before you leave. Just hit this button right here and then check out these other videos of mine if you haven't seen them yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye. Mwah. Bye.